All right. Good afternoon, everybody. It is kind of late, but it's still a Monday. And I think we've got a fresh patch today. Silas, it's good to see you. Howdy, Dragnos. Hey, Albania. Oh, thank you, man. Man, I'd like to get there, but I'm I'm taking my time on it. I'm not in any particular rush. Akron, how you doing? Hey, deplorable? Yeah. Which I guess we can try it out, can't we? Man, I still feel like he's not wrinkly enough. Can I not? Do the wrinkle. He just looks so young. How do we fix that? How do we... Now, never let it be said that I know how to make a character. Because, um... I don't. I do not. Like, I need, I need wrinkly. It's kind of wrinkly. It's not wrinkled enough. Oh, Akron, I am so sorry, man. Good luck. I got real, real lucky. And, uh, happen to get on that one right there at the end. So I pretty much weaseled my way into getting it finished and don't have to look back, which I'm, I'm a-okay with, really a-okay with. Dragnos, we can find out. Although I just set my spawn point to New Babbage because I wanted to see the animals, but uh Tell you what, let's go look at the end game prices of spaceships, shall we? Yeah, but deplorable, but I don't want purple hair. Like it's cool if other people want it. But it's just not for me, you know? Hey, Jason. Ooh, Dragnos did it. Oh, I want to go see that. All right, so how do we turn on this Vulcan? I assume it's in settings. Do I need, do I need Vulcan? Does Vulcan work on A restart? What do you guys think? Should I go for Vulcan? Hey, game. Yeah, Silas, I wouldn't usually come to New Babbage as my starting point, but since we're getting daily packages... Packages, patches. All right, tell you what, we'll try it out. We'll try it out, which we got to restart the game. So, you know, let's just do that. But let's give it a go. Oh, Dragnos, I'm feeling plenty brave. I've already done all the dicey stuff today. I honestly, Silas, I'm going to come clean. I, I, I don't know what Vulcan is for Star Citizen. I know people are excited about it, and it has something to do with graphics. That's it. That's all I know. 
Like, I assume it's advancing. Graphics things. That's that's all I know. And I know that sounds awful. I just I just appreciatively thumbs up and nod. Oh, thank you, Jason. We're gonna see what happens, which I mean, I'm on the I'm on the title screen. Biker, how goes it, man? Oh, Wolf, I don't know if they'll ever fix that. But all right, we're loading in with Vulcan. See if we can actually load in. Oh yeah, Silas, you gotta get that in. Hey, Kiel. Oh, sorry, uh, is that a thing that I need to do? It is, isn't it? Let's see if I can even get in. Let's let's see if I can get in. We are about nine minutes into the stream. Although I think we spent a minute forty while I was loading up the first time, so I'll give that a little bit of a pass. Hey, Uncivil. How's it going, man? Also, um I'm probably gonna make a separate YouTube post about it, but just to cover my bases, how uh, how many people are going to the Chicago Bar Citizen this Saturday? And Dragnos, he has been fed. In fact, he was given a little bit extra. He was given some catnip treats. And so was the dog, because she was jealous. Now whenever Waffle gets treats, she gets treats. Jason, I might be in the same boat. Which, I mean, I can just disable it from the main menu if I need to. Howdy, Wolf. I mean, Apple, that's fair. I don't think I've had deep dish yet. Holy crap, we might... Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason, we're in. Jason, look at that. We're... We're in. All right, all right. What do I need to do for upscaling? Which one do I need to go for? Aw, oh, thank you, Seabass. I want you to know, man, I like you too. LSS, all right. Let me get uh, let me get my display info up right quick. See, I've spent so long with us not having this that uh, I gotta say though. This is probably the most amount of frames that I've had in Microtech. Did I not put it on? Hold on, let me double check. Let me double check. Oh, right. On. Let's just let's just go auto, right? Hey, 
Hey, Phaedrus. Sorry, I'm late today. I don't know. It seems to be doing all right. I mean, I know we are not out of the apartment. Out there it goes. So, what does it do? Because, boom, there's some stuff. I assume it's for uh, performance. I don't see much of a difference, but I'm also not the person to uh, to ask. Make sure I got that right. I, would, I like how balanced is 57%. Eh, we'll keep it on balanced. Why not? Did... Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking I mean, liquid, maybe. I'm sitting at 40 FPS in New Babbage. I mean, it dips down to the high 30s, but... And I am on a 3080 Ti, if it matters. And civil would it not help just to keep it at the regular resolution? Ah, I got you, Jason. Okay, so we're just we're still in the baby stages. Now, admittedly, getting 40 FPS in the train is that's a little bit cause of celebration. That's a little bit of cause for celebration. Because usually once you get in these trains, it's like, hi, we're going to do flipbook animation. Howdy, Angel. You know, since I'm going up to Chicago, I got to I got to stop myself from saying howdy. Last time I did that, I got nicknamed Tex in an apartment volleyball game, and I was the only person not from Texas, because it was in Texas. Yeah, Wolf. Like, it's nice when the train stays on the rails. Uh, speaking of, I'll be taking Amtrak up to Chicago, and hopefully it can do the same thing. You see, Dragnos, it's the, it's the whole code switching thing. Like, I walk into a flea market, and you know, you gotta do the whole southern good old boy howdy 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 thing. But then, like, if I go through a drive through it's always like, can I have one double cheeseburger with extra mustard, extra ketchup, and an order of fries? And yeah, Zach, that's it, Seabass. There's nothing wrong with how. That's right, beggars. Howdy, fellers. Welcome Just, to the Ace I always get hit with the, uh, you're not from around here. Which, aside from a brief stint in Texas, I've lived in Arkansas all of my life. Actually, before I spawn a ship. Nope, nope, nope. Let me off. Let me off. Let's see if we've got a contract for any of those, uh... Wildlife control. Yeah. That's right, guess. Every time I order them, I put my hand over my heart. And I listen to a Lee Greenwood song. Then I order my fries. I sure do. I sure do. Ready to upgrade? Located in the plaza, the factory line has all of Microtech's latest offerings. 
guys think we should fly something else? I'm gonna go up to Tressler right quick just to reset my, uh... My spawn. Because I plan to punch these, uh, these cave puppies. Uh, beggars, we turn off the light, but we do have buggies and blinkers. And whenever you order a Coke, you have to specify which one you want. Like, for example, you go to a restaurant and you go, I'll take a Coke. And they go, all right, what kind? And then you go, Sprite. So, you know. And chocolate gravy, although that's more of an Arkansan thing. I'm sorry, I have to go to three different places to wipe out the local populace? Oh. Where is my anger three? Yeah, yeah, it's like, okay, listen, I don't, I don't think you can... I don't think you can get... political in the way you're thinking with that movie, like... I don't think anybody on any side is like, yeah, that movie tracks in a realistic way. Like, I, I, I think we've got a green light to talk about that movie. No matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, I think California and Texas can agree that it would take a kaiju to get them to band together. Oh, beggars, it's Coke. Soda and pop, that's that's for the north. Down here, it's all Coke. Hey, Harold. I'm sorry, Apple, what? Oklahoma uses pop? Oklahoma's wrong. I appear to be... Missing some info from my uh, my spaceship. I could be wrong. Now I can't take it off. Am I missing a head? I might be missing a head. Let's exit. Exit the seat. Yeah, see, Gaz, I'm going to have to really watch myself. Mmm. Mmm. I can't seem to get out of my seat or take off. I might be in a, in a 30K. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it's... Oh, God. Okay, I do have my helmet. In a bad way. Oh yeah, Kleenex. Yeah, it's not a tissue, it's Kleenex. Ah, oh. There we- mm. That's gonna have to get fixed, whatever that is. Don't, don't like whatever this is. I, I wonder something. Oh, how I wonder. Eh, I'll leave that where it is. You, though. Auto trim. Let's try that.
Harold, I hope it's not a feature. But hey, gold. Yeah, Logos, this is very Drakey. We might swap to something else. Yeah, we're going to go up here. Set our spawn point, because uh, there's no way... There's no way I'm going to wake up a new Babbage again. Did I? No? Oh, Gunner, is that what it is? Well, hooray for Vulcan. Okay. Gold, I did not. Where is that? We'll go uh, we'll go investigate. I would love to have a functioning MFD in my ship. Left click. What? Why is it left click? Oh, Stewie, hold on. I might need to double check, man, because I keep my keybinds really in a bad way. In a real bad way. You guys don't want to know my keybinds. They're all really bad. Oh, okay. We're just really laggy. Okay. We're just really having a lot of lag. That's... Oh, Vulcan's having some teething issues. I don't like left click. Because it's different and that scares me. Uh, Apple, it's uh, left click to, to quantum jump now. You have to hit B in left click to enter quantum mode or nav mode. And then... Uh, I'm getting so much lag, I can't tell which input I need to do to get out of it. Hold B to go to SCM, which I guess is okay. Does the UI mess up on other ships? Is it just Drake? Because if it's if it's fine on other ships, then we might swap today. Yeah, and civil. I'm thinking about turning off Vulcan just to survive today. Because this is uh. This is painful, man. This is really painful. Oh, Gunner did it. Yeah. Well, that hurts. I'd love to see my vector indicator, which I'm going to assume is also a UI issue. Yeah, I hate, I hate that. Oof. I mean, Harold, I was getting 40 FPS pretty reliably in New Babbage. In... 2k so maybe i'm i'm not a good person to ask um 
but it did feel like it was pretty pretty gosh darn smooth like we're getting 60 like 57 to 60 right now Willie, hopefully they live long and prosper. Actually, Willie, funny you say that. I found a, an album that Leonard Nimoy did. Like, apparently, dude did some music Welcome back in the day. The but one of the songs was, like, spoken word poetry. And it was very... It was very Star Trek. It was... It was... Oh, it was a number. It was a number. And gold, no... No. No, I have not. You know, that would probably that would probably do something a little bit, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, sorry, I know the Hobbit song. It's an excellent song. Although this Always. server delay isn't helping a lot. Just a friendly reminder that no matter your health status, just by being here, you're already taking an important step on the road to wellness. I'm going to assume that went through. See, actually, hold on. It's called Contact. It's on the album The Touch of Leonard Nimoy. Look up the song Contact by Leonard Nimoy. It's very, like, Star Trek slam poetry. <laughs> what, Gold? Couldn't I just... Exit the game, delete the shaders. I think it's fine. Shaders never have to be deleted. Welcome. Oh no, Harold, this was this was uh this was like transmission was clear. The message was sent. Like it is it is straight up word by word stilted poetry with a bunch of space sounds in the background <laughs> oh accurate that's welcome that's to the asop vehicle retrieval system oh that's good and yeah Joel the mini map's not bad at all oh Willie they're always bad Hanger one. All right, so I'm probably gonna die, but I'm gonna go punch a dog. That's right, Pablo. Although as far as Ivacati goes, that's been pretty smooth. Whoa, you are a person. Okay. Hanger was that. I already forgot what hanger that was. So, uh, Rainer, these yellow markers are for my mission. I've got a mission to go fight some dogs. Yeah, I don't, I think they may have accidentally, I cannot jump into that anymore. All right, I'm sorry. This is about to be very painful. But we're gonna fly down to the planet Punch a dog, probably die. Then we're going to go investigate new ship pricing. Yeah, Rainer, that's how I feel too.
What? Well, Pablo, that's why we're going to use our fists. Or do you think 1.2 mega meters is what is that like 1200 kilometers whoops man Joel you can do a lot of punching with an eye on but with a warden you can multi-roll a bunch of stuff Come on, change over. There we go. Yes, yeah, Silas, I, I apologize if this is uh, painful. Anybody out there with epilepsy? Also, I'm sorry for being so late today. I was, uh, I was working on a clock. Over the weekend, I found a little old lady selling a, uh, a Miller High Life clock from the 1980s. In fact, it was from 1980. Um, she said it didn't work anymore and she sold it to me for fairly cheap. I had it taken apart today. And I got into the guts and fixed it up and a little bit of tape, elbow grease and some wiring and it's good to go again. Even as like a little, uh, little pendulum swings back and forth. Yeah, eternally angelic. I, uh, I was also skeptical. Snakes, it's good to see it. I appreciate you confirming that for me. I keep wanting to call them Mega Miles. Because, you know. Entangles, it's. Man, it's got some rough spots. I'm still not a big fan of Master Modes. But. Being a person who's not a developer, I can learn to live with it. still flying to the oh what ow ow jeez okay that that can be gone we don't have to do that yeah you know Silas I used to work with a guy uh, when I was at GameStop and he had seizures a lot like he couldn't drive and uh, he kind of he, he taught his kid to do this horrible thing because he go hey hey James what does daddy do and then his kid would just drop on the ground and start flailing and like it was hilarious but it was like my god <laughs> ah hey Rexy. Oh, yeah, no, Pablo, I'm good with metric. Like, the thing about metric is, you know, everybody using it. So, uh, it's easy to communicate about distances. While I like miles because it's what I grew up with, I'm not against metric at all. It is fun to give metric a hard time, though, because that's just the thing that we do. Pablo, it might be shaking. Wobbly I am, man. I am. I'm gonna go punch one. Like, 
Coyote, I get it. But yeah, gold. Like when someone's like, he was going 60 kilometers an hour. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. I've seen people do that on a bicycle. But like, it still sounds good. And honestly, okay. Unpopular opinion. I'm cool with us slowing down anyway. Like they keep raising the, uh, the interstate speed here to 75, 85 miles per hour. And, um, I don't really feel like that's doing a lot for you, except raising your insurance rates, the amount of gas you use, tire wear, and uh, potential for accidents. But getting people to slow down is very difficult, so they just keep raising the speed limit instead of making it lower. So if we did it in kilometers and people could go, my god, I can do 200, no, that's probably not the best. I can do a hundred kilometers an hour. They think they're going fast. And in actuality, they're only doing like 60 miles per hour. But they think they're going fast. Didn't even see... Did we just 30k? Did I just get here in 30k? I wish I had a way to see. Cool. Cool. Glad that my headlights weren't working. Yeah, Pablo, we're probably going to come down here in a, another ship where I can actually see the altimeter. Hey, Raven. Gold, that's never going to happen, man. People, like, you, you never have to keep up with your license. You never have to attend any sort of, you know, once a year certification. Uh, Angelic, I bumped a mountain because it was pitch black. And then I guess the server was so bad that I died. A minute later. You know, Russell, we could try a C1 just to see if they fix the lights on them. Not the lights, the, uh, hangar. Uh, Damon. Damon, as someone who lives in Arkansas, that, that wouldn't do anything. Not a thing here. And yes, Raymond, meds have been taken. I actually took them early this morning. When I took a break. Fixing up my clock. Yeah, I don't feel like we got the bigger hangar. Still feels pretty, uh, pretty slim to me. I mean, Rebel, that is... Yeah, yeah, no, that's true, actually. Check these price alerts, see if they're actually different. Construction materials are... Have those, those haven't always been on there, have they? Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Coyote. Thank you, man. Thank you. You know, I, uh, I got one of those calls a long time ago when I was still in the Hyundai. I'm like, yeah, we're trying to reach you, but your extended warranty is like, I have 330,000 miles on this car I mean uncivil I'll never get rid of it mostly because I'm lazy
Come on. Open up. Open up. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to fix this. Can we get one in the daytime? That might be in the daytime. All right, I'm holding B. There we go. Yeah. FPS has been fine. Server performance, I am several seconds behind. Oh, Cruller, it's not good. We're testing out Vulcan. And uh, it has a lot of UI issues. Is that just in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Thank you, gold. Thank you, bad. And okay, funny you bring that up. Um, and a friend gets scammed on Facebook Marketplace recently for a free couch. And they wanted thirty dollars to deliver it, but it was free. Just had to pay, you know, thirty to uh, to get it. And uh, of course, she paid them 30 bucks and uh they never showed i don't want to go there it's gonna be dark but they're all in dark locations harold no well okay there is technically if you're a subscriber you're automatically wave one other than that no which I think it's kind of a wiener move. I think they could, uh... I think they could work on that part just a little bit, you know? Yes, Raymond! That's why it's all higgledy-piggledy. We actually have Vulcan running. Which is why I have no real instrumentation. Yeah, Mike. Which, I and mean, you can also be in wave one based on playtime and uh, concierge status. But for concierge status, you gotta be, you gotta be up there. You gotta have like 20,000 in the game or whatever. And like, I don't even know if I have 20,000 in my future. Oh, wait, that's... No, that's too far. Where is the one you can meet? That's a mega meter. That's... Oh, hold on, then where am I? Did I go to the wrong one? Gotta be something. Yeah, it's about as close as I'm going to get. Come on, route. I might have to get high. Raymond, you can ping. Problem is, it doesn't light things up. Okay. You know, 
and civil? That's a good question. I think it's just based in Vulcan on what others have said. But, uh, you know, we can... We can, <clears throat> we can try. Now, if we put on CIG, TSR... Okay, that's the same thing. SR and then turn it on. Yeah, it's Vulcan. It's all Vulcan. Vulcan, Vulcan, Vulcan. Okay, maybe now we can. Which, literally, today is the first implementation of it, so, you know. And we just fly to it. That's not that far. I just wish I could see my HUD so I could know how fast I'm going. Yeah, Jason, I'm sorry, man. Which is, is the first version of it, so whatever. I'll give it a pass. Pablo, think about all those cutlass owners. We can't even see what our altimeter is. She can't even see it now, really, but still. Uh, Raymond, I don't think so. I think I've got a relog to do it, which... Tell you what, if I end up getting got by these cave puppies, I'm gonna relog anyway. fast I was going. Great. Man, this is, this is taking a while. Yeah, Wolf, like, I'm not upset about it. Like, I'm annoyed, you know, on how rough it is, but with the first implementation, I can't. I can't complain, especially since this is literally the test server. I don't know, Russell. I'm coming into it during the daytime. There's a chance I survive. to about 30,000. I don't think that there was anything closer.
is already routed. I could... We're gonna hope this technique still works. Hey, DPT! Turn off, there we go. Come on. Come on, turn on. Turn on. There we go. Gotta say, the server lag is terrible, though. Well, that did save me some time. Uh, Christian, not yet. At least not that I found. I think that part is coming later. But yeah, like right now it's only up to the current, like, full speeds. Like, you can't see it, but I'm doing about 900 or whatever. It's just the UI is, you know, destroyed by Vulcan. Oh, did it, Lord? Like, you could actually quantum... Oh, sorry, I read that in the reverse order. And Raymond, a lot of people don't like it in-game because they feel like it gives an unfair advantage. Since Star Citizen is a primarily first-person game, you can use third-person to check around corners before going around the corner. Giving it an unfair advantage. I'll tell you, Muzz. I definitely play House Flipper exclusively in first person. And yeah, Nim, it's uh, it's an issue with Vulcan, is what I'm told. Which is rough. It's real rough. I just want to know, what are these guys doing in the middle of nowhere that is causing so much trouble that they need to be wiped out? Oh, really, Nim? Um, well... I appreciate the forewarning.
James, it's still in PTU. It's still wave one. It probably won't be live for another month. Damn, it's, uh... I remember we're in atmosphere, so... It's gonna be a bit different. But it still feels about the same to me. Granted, with no UI to speak of at the moment, I can't really give you metrics. Man, watch, we're gonna get all the way out here and there's gonna be no animals because it's only a p potential location. Now, where would they be in this potential location? We're gonna, we're gonna land, take a walk. Well, DPT, I was going to try to punch one. Something tells me that might not happen, though. Yeah, Nicholas. And gold, not well. Not well at all, Matt. Like, I got to tell you, the input lag is really bad. Where, where would they be? Is there a cave here? Is that a cave or is that just a rock? Hmm. Yeah, now that I'm getting closer, it's appearing more rock-like. Is that a DPT? Do I need to become a princess? Hold on. Maybe I should have read the, uh, the contract just a little bit more. Oh, is that it? Should I get a cat for the uh, for the dogs to chase? Where? I mean, it's not a bad backdrop. It's just very. Am I? You know, Rainer, that's a good question. James, I wish. This is just microtech.
So you're telling me that we just have potential locations. We don't know where they are. Just telling us they want us to go out and frag a bunch of... Yeah, Leighton, I just wanted to turn it on for a little bit. I'm really thinking about just turning it back off because I want my UI back. But I'm not seeing any cave puppies, so I guess we're going to go to one of the other locations. Like, do they, do they howl? Do they roam around? Raymond, apparently they, they can be found in caves. And they also, um, they get very aggressive when in groups. Let me in. Yeah, we could try scanning with the ship, but ah, we'll see what happens. With the input lag as bad as it is. Come on. Did I, did I not? Jeez, there we go. Rodney, that would be great. But, uh... That's another input for me to have extreme lag on. Oh, Moon, this one really is. Server FPS is four. Coyote. A total of four. Wait. Oh, hand mineables. Dang it. I'm going to assume I won't be able to get this UI to work, but really, really, okay then. You know, Nim, I, I don't know. I'm really going to have to switch off Vulcan to test anything combat-wise. But I'm pretty sure they've gone to everything being gimbaled, no matter what. Unless it's something like the Vanguard. Yeah, Moon, no, we're in Vulcan right now. This is literally the first iteration of it. It's just very rough. And there's a bug where we have no UI because of it. Russell, I'm tempted to. All right, so I just got back from that one. What's 
the next closest one. This whole routing not available thing. Come on. Come on. Okay. Hey, Jay, it is, uh, yeah, it's a new PTU patch. And boy, oh boy. Is the server FPS rough. Now, Gold, that is a plus. The problem is, that doesn't really affect my Buccaneer. I mean, I'm not mining them, Raymond, so it should be fine. This one I just got back from. That one's far away. 260 kilometers away. Really should have got something just a little bit faster. See, now my FPS drops down to the pits. I just, I really want to punch a dog. That's all I want to do. I don't know why... Suddenly, it's just such a rare find for me. Russell, it doesn't feel fast. It's very slow. Uncivil, come on. No, you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. At least the UI calmed down a little bit. That's nice. Raymond, not at all, man. I have not. So, Logan, I'm attempting to get to one of these locations to find one of these new cave dogs. And I plan to fight them with my bare fists. And I'll probably die, but I went to one of the locations and they weren't there. And they're always in the middle of nowhere. So you have to spend forever flying to them. And it's a real pain in the backside.
Yeah, I'm probably going to get fed to the dogs. <sighs> it would probably be faster to fly down from the orbitals too. Eh, whatever. I mean, you know, Logan, I'd like to. I would, I would like to. It just takes so long to get anywhere. And biker there is. Well, sort of. Sort of. <sighs> so. It takes so long to get here. Kill 15 of them. That's kind of rude. Biker, I need a, I need an IC. Which I might get one tomorrow. Shrek 2 is coming back to theaters. You guys remember Shrek 2, right? It's the 20th anniversary. Yeah, me too, AJ. Me too. Gold it would be, actually. Yeah, Tars. I like that we've been getting a bunch of films back to theaters, which... We haven't exactly had a lot of good films recently, so maybe that's why. Valkyrie would actually be great for hurting them, too. Like, you put a whole bunch of them in the bay, they can't climb the ladder. You get to a place, open the doors, let them run free. I mean, biker, that sounds about right. It's, uh, it's pretty warm. Alaska, huh? Let's see what the temperature is. Uh, actually, it's a balmy 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 26 degrees Celsius. In my neck of the woods at the moment. Well, AJ, I don't see how they're struggling. I get ticked off every time I have to pay for a service and I still get ads. So 
I've canceled just about everything. In fact, most of the stuff that I watch is on Tubi these days. And for a free service, they have less ads than Amazon does. Biter, I can't seem to. Gee, I would like for my headlights to come back. Why do they keep doing that? How much server lag do I have? You know what? We're just we're just gonna gonna float we're just gonna float to the ground please stop turning off Sorry, was my landing gear already? Okay. I hate this new landing mode thing. All right. Where could they be? Yeah, see, I don't order anything from Amazon if I can help it. And Raymond, that sounds right. Okay. Where, oh, where these little critters be? Those are rocks. How are we supposed to find them? Hello, hello, Stark. We are hunting for animals, and I don't know if I'm gonna find anything in this uh, this nighttime. No, they growl, huh? I mean, biker, that's fine. I just want to see them. Like, I've got the world's dinkiest flashlight. Jeffrey, I tried doing a little bit of scanning on my way in. I 
And I couldn't find anything. Like, I got the traditional rocks. Like, what am I... We just have no tools for doing things at night, do we? Like, this flashlight really just falls off. Yeah, Raymond, there's no... I can't see what I'm doing. You know? I might have to get back in the ship and float around. See if I can spot them. And Raymond, I circled that whole rock. I didn't see a cave in it. They usually have a pretty noticeable entrance. Yeah, Maz, we might have to raise the gamma. That helped a little bit. Might have to go higher. Yeah, like, why don't we have night vision? Why? I've only been begging for it for so long. I mean, dough, it's nice. It's just we're not doing much instead of, what, getting a, a nice stroll in? Stark, the minimap only works in, uh... Locations with an interior. Which is kind of annoying. You know, Toki, I do not know. I know it says they spawn in caves, but that might just be like a lore entry. So I checked out a cave earlier. And went as far as one of the, uh, the new animals would be able to go without climbing. And there was nothing. I mean, Russell, you know how I get with vehicles, though. If I get in a ground vehicle, I'm, I'm going to make it explode. That is true. At least I do have a compass. Just where, where am I supposed to find these guys? I've already been to one location. I'm at the second. Am I just bad? You know, when I worked at the gun store, we tried offering the service where we would uh, camp out and uh, shoot hogs for people because wild hogs were a huge issue. For people in the Texacana area. And you know, like we had the, the guns, the know-how. We figured we could do something that way. Problem is, every time we did it, not a single hog would show up. They would hit a place every single day. The same day we were there, nothing. Just they knew always where we were going to be and just gave us a miss. I mean, Jeffrey, it could very well be a skill issue. I 
Title of the song has always been Who Let the Dogs Out. At this point, I just want to know where they're at. You know, biker, I don't I don't know. Gray? Brown? Mustard? Why try hovering around the area? Watch, there's gonna be one on the ship. Darn. Yeah, see, Toki, I just want a way to find them. Although, with uh, scanning being the way it is. Those are going to be mineables. Yeah, those are mineables. Olmec, yeah, the input lag is really bad. Vulcan is also destroying my UI. Tell you what, I think I'm going to turn Vulcan off. We've had so many of these places. No critters. No critters at all. Shark, it seems to be okay, but... I'm also getting a huge issue with my UI, as you can see. And uh, I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Yeah, Olmec, I'm about to. I just have to restart the game. And I don't want to. Crashing into things, Wyman. Oof, damn. All right, so we'll just exit. Uh, we'll just restart right quick. And while we do that, I can get some more water and uh, finally maybe go check out these new ship prices to see what they're going to be like. Oof, that is that is rough. Oh, that is rough. So one second, while that's starting back up, I'm going to get some more water. I'll be right back.
Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Star Citizen, there we go. Oh, Olmec, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Olmec. Wait, did I just log into PU? No, okay. Thank you, Olmec. Oh, Mech, I could use it. I'm actually about to go to the Chicago Bar Citizen on Saturday, and I gotta catch the train up there from Arkansas. So I want you to know that I greatly appreciate it. Which, I don't know if it's going to pan out, but I'm going to try to get some, uh, some fun little knickknacks prepared for it. All right, let's try this again. We're going to fly to Hurston this time. Check out the price on, uh, on some spaceships there. See how they match up compared to 322. You know, while we're here, I doubt we've had any, uh, I doubt we've had any changes to commodities, but we might as well check. I hope the elevator never goes out. Otherwise, I could be trapped in this area instead of just using stairs or something. <sighs> yeah, Russell, have a good night, man. Like, even with 5 FPS, the elevator should be here by now. Oh, thank you, Olmec. Good luck with the meeting, man. Yeah, we're gonna try... Like, it's probably gonna put me in the same server, but... I'm gonna try jumping servers and try again. Maybe I could join on Lord. Oh, he's on a tiny server. 18 people, about to be 19.
Uh, Raymond, when you go to join on someone, it'll tell you how many people are on their server. Okay, let's try again. Like, uh, okay, one second, Raymond, I'll show you. This is going to be really hard to read. I'll just go, we'll go. So, you're looking for a thing that says shard ID. And it's going to be towards the top. It's the third line. Looks like we're on shard 120. I mean... Okay. Server FPS is six, but whatever. Okay, let's try this Welcome again. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. We'll take the caterpillar to Hurston. A little bit faster. Yeah, those response times are a lot better than what I was getting in the previous server. Oh, really, biker? Just up the road. If they say anything outrageous, let me know. I can tell you if they're saying, uh, you know, if it's uh, real or not. Oh, uh, Raymond, the number four gives us the most amount of info. And I can never remember if the shard ID is part of three or four, so I just always go with four. When I'm looking up the shard ID, anyway. Okay, well, tell you what, next time you see him, let me know. Thank you. And please visit again. would really like an option for my map to just start out here instead of local local gave him a shock like, what was it? Too cold? Not enough humidity? Oh, right. It's left click. Oh, I hate that. So I can't cancel this. Also, I was able to activate quantum. 
by just hitting B. What is it for entering? I could have swore it was, uh, B to swap. Or not B, but B plus mouse. Come on. Come on. There we go. I hate this new method of swapping between nav and quantum being based on your, uh, on your spool speed. I feel like that's going to be the thing that decides every single quantum drive. Yeah, Raymond, you don't like it. I enjoy it. It's just the time that I hate. A negative, Kenneth. This is the stock Pontus. I would like to experiment with upgrading. I'll just have to swing by, uh, I think, Hurl 5 for the TS2. Well, biker, you just get shot and most likely die.
Okay, let's see. They changed the icons at all for the city. So we've got triangles for locations. Seeing if I can pick this out. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, so cities are now hexagons. Is that a hexagon? Hold on, that might still be a. Hang on. One, two, three, One, two, three four, five, six. Nope, nope, that is a hexagon. Okay. God dang it, I did it again. You know what? You know, you know what? Let's, let's just. Do something here. Let's just, you know, let's just, let's just, just um, where is it? Where is it? Cycle request jump. just I just wonder I just wonder you know let's just let's just find out if we can make it work the same way hey Neptune yeah and yeah we're not going very fast we're still at SCM speeds I just they've redone how you jump now and I hate it All right, I didn't want to use the map search. Okay, nope, it doesn't work. It it doesn't it doesn't work. Ah, it was worth a try. Or maybe it will, and I'm an idiot. Let's, 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 let's give it a shot. Let's give it one more go. Don't you wish you could cancel these modes? Like, it takes 44 seconds. If you hit the wrong button to get back to the mode that you need. 44 seconds. That's a long time. Nope. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Have your left click. Because then we have to do this again and, uh, I don't like this new system. We spent 10 years with the last system. Come on. I'm, I'm clicking. I'm left clicking. There we go. Stark, you now left click to jump. You left click to jump. And I do not like it. Cajun, it has to be EPTU, not PTU, EPTU. It's still wave one. You have access to it, but you have to make it in the EPTU folder. And also make sure that you've copied your account over on the website.
Because if you try to log into PTU, you'll get nada. And make sure your account is copied over. You know, Biker, reverting it to W is not the worst idea in the world. I gotta say, I feel like I'm having a lot less enjoyment flying now, though. That makes sense. Yeah, crazy. Because you'll see in the drop down, you have a PTU and EPTU. And right now it's on the EPTU. Still don't seem to have my vector indicator either. Well, Raymond, we're here to test, right? Oh, that was rough. They do handle differently. Oh man, Anatar, I have not. I have not been liking the new update. Like, I know it's what we're having going forward, so I will learn to adapt, but it's not likable for me. I appreciate it, Cajun. Although, if you have to, you know, stop the stream to download faster, I totally get it. Because, you know, it's a big update. Yeah, Neptune, like, really there's no way to disengage a fight on... For anyone. Like, for me to get away, I have to make myself more vulnerable. And with the ridiculously short time to kill on most large ships, I just, I don't think you can. I really don't think you can. Like, I would love to test it out. If somebody wants to come shoot me and blow me up, you're welcome to. I also like that we still only have one kiosk. Okay, so let's see. The price is my god. 10 million? Or no. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't think prices are in correctly. Because, uh... That's my current balance, and the total transaction cost is zero. Like... Hmm, maybe we go on to, uh, to Area 18 and see if their prices are working. Yeah, have fun, buddy. Oh, yeah, Rainer. Real cheap. Remember what hangar we were in? I do not. Neptune, I don't think so, but usually they wait till much later in the patch cycle to add uh, new ships in. And we haven't really had anything added since, um... Actually, what was the last ship we had added? 
Rainer, I got an error trying to buy the Cutlass Red. So I don't think so. I'm gonna go to New Bab- or not New Babbage, Area 18. Check their prices, try to purchase. And then I'm probably gonna have to call it for the day there. I mean, we got the cutter like last October. I mean, we're in April. We not had anything since, I guess we haven't, had we? Because this patch had to be bushed basically. Yeah, I guess the cutter. Yeah, I'd like to see the Zeus come out. Shoot, we'll probably get that in pay. Well, Anatar, that you know, that's just my opinion. It might be better for flight sticks too. I just some of the design choices between the modes really hurts. Also, it feels like maybe, just maybe, the caterpillar could fly a little bit better than what it's currently doing. Thank you, and please visit again. Yeah, Miles, have a good one, man. We're gonna try to get out of here. See if the prices, uh, work at area 18. Cajun, what are you flying? And yeah, Christian, we still need armor. Although, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really holding out for armor doing much. Oh yeah, Cajun, the spirit has a very tiny hanger. They have supposedly said that they will be fixing that and giving it a much larger hanger. But, um... Who knows what? I 
I mean, gold, that would be nice. I think that would be very, uh, very, very nice, very kind. I mean, aren't sure it's I don't know about that I do I I still get shot you know Yeah, no, the Corsair is very hard to park. It's so high. I ain't gold, that is true. That part is true, I guess. Just, you know, we, uh, we respect each other. And, uh, that just leads to being able to, uh, to, to better compromises. Yeah. That's how that goes. There we are. See, I don't have a lot of issues with the Herc, but I always use VTOL. All right, let's see if we can find the city from here, right? Instead of going third person. Wow, that is hard to see with the fog. I mean, I'll take it. It's just still hard to see.
Uh, Raven, double check and make sure that uh, your power triangle is getting the shields all the way up. Because they're sitting there trying to charge and not getting all the way. Like, for example, let's say you take off and put full power to engines. So your shields are getting minimum power while trying to still regen. Then it's going to take them forever and they'll start to cook. Activate landing gear all the way up here. Oh no. Also, I'm glad I can read my altimeter. There's an eight. Mm, I don't know what the rest is. Whatever, screw it. We're going to try for it. We're probably going to hit. the mark Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. yeah I'm gonna need my vector indicator back CIG yeah Raven when you first touch off or power up Maybe put it to 100% shields. Let those get fully, uh, fully refreshed. And then put it to whatever else. Eh, it could have been better. No vector indicator and the wonky master mode systems makes it feel weird. All right, we're gonna check these prices and then I'm going to bail because I am hungry. I have been working on something is something's different can't quite put my finger on it but something is different eh I need to store the ship. Hello and welcome. Uh, to hello? The oh. Servicing the greater area 18 metropolitan area. We hope you have safe travels wherever your final destination may be. Are curious, do you not like the Wonka Vader? Do you not want to come with me to a world of pure imagination?
Cajun, I've, I've got issues with it. All right, so... Every time you open it, you know, it's right here. I would like it to be a little bit more like the older one. To where it's more on a, a planetary or system scale like this. That way I can just click and go if I need to go to a planet. Now, I know that I can type in up here, but I don't think I can do that. Let me, let me get off the train right quick. Or I guess I can double check now here. Right. Yeah, I still have to zoom out quite a bit to be able to type a location to go to. Raymond for once, but it'll it'll fix itself. Um, hmm, interesting. These stairs are having issues. Yeah, especially if you're under fire, Cajun, and, and precious seconds matter. Sorry, I'm kind of taking the longer way to see if anything else was all messed up. All right, and the prices on spaceships are. Let's find out. Come on. Yeah, nope, they're all messed up. So, turns out. Anybody tells you that ships are expensive right now, you tell them no, they ain't. They don't even have prices. In fact, you can't even buy them. So, didn't exactly accomplish a lot today, but that's uh, testing. Yeah, Cajun, have a good one, man. I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna go buzz off myself, get some food. I am hungry. So. We will return to this tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get some actually, you know, decent testing in tomorrow. Maybe we'll actually get the cargo update. So. You guys have a wonderful night. And as always, until next time, keep on trucking. Have a good night, guys.